Barry Coates. Tenakoi, Mr Chair, thank you for uh, the call. Um, I rise to speak about yeah, the, uh, uh, the cartels uh, bill. Uh, we are also deeply concerned about the long delay in getting this legislation presented before this House, um, initiated in 2001. It's a very long period of time. Um, the context for this bill we regard as, as being um, the need to ensure proper competition between firms in a small society. We have to remember that New Zealand is a society where um, competition rules are particularly important given our small scale. Um, uh, I think the, the public is widely, rightly concerned about a lack of, of competition and as the Productivity Commission has repeatedly shown, um, New Zealand is paying high prices uh, for goods compared to uh, uh, other countries. And uh, we have seen a long list of scandals over rip-off prices, including in building materials, in construction, real estate, tele telecommunications, electricity, petrol, supermarket and banking sectors. So the context here is that vigorous competition is absolutely vital for uh, a fair deal uh, for most New Zealanders. Instead, what we see is we see um, a situation where uh, regulation is falling behind international best practice. Now, the Green Party supported this bill to select committee. Uh, subsequently, we were let's say, surprised when in late 2015, then Commerce Minister Paul Goldsmith suddenly did a rapid about turn and overruled his department and MP's advice by removing criminal liability provisions from this legislation. Uh, we believe this U-turn uh, significantly weakens the legislation and lets collusion between big business off the hook. Uh, fines, however big, are no substitute uh, for the potential criminal sanctions. Um, we note that our tr main trading partners, Australia, USA, Canada, UK, Japan, Ireland and Korea, uh, have criminalisation provisions. Um, and we think that through um, removing these from this legislation, uh, the government is missing an opportunity to align our, our regulations with those uh, internationally. Uh, th this, we believe, is an absolutely crucial aspect to this regulation, to this bill. Um, and therefore, uh, the Green Party uh, will no longer support this bill. Uh, we will oppose this bill uh, without criminalisation sanctions. Um, we also see, uh, um, we also would like to raise questions in the discussion around uh, the the exclusion uh, from cartels uh, provisions of, of uh, international line of shipping services. Uh, we have not seen an adequate justification uh, for that. Uh, we're concerned about the breadth of, of some of the uh, allowance of collaborative activity um, as being too, too uh, permissive uh, and allowing cooperative activity or collaborative activity uh, where really uh, a, a collusive element may be present. Um, we see uh, clearances as being too broad uh, and uh, we would like to come back to that in discussion of this bill. And finally, uh, we see transitional arrangements potentially presenting a huge loophole uh, for, for, uh, uh, for cartel activity to be again disguised as cooperative activity. Um, overall, Mr Chair, we're disappointed in the um, emission in particular uh, of criminalisation aspects of this bill. Uh, we would like the government to reconsider that and we'd certainly like to hear a sound justification for why this course of action is being proposed. Thank you. Mr Chair. Mr. Chair. Dr David Clark. Thank you, Mr Chair. Uh, very, very interested in taking a call on this bill and uh